So today I'm talking about a P0448 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0448 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission vent control circuit shorted. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them up to the engine to be burnt away so they don't escape into the atmosphere. But when you get this P0448 code, the computer's seen a problem with the component inside of this EVAP system, mainly the vent valve. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And depending on the vehicle, there can be differences inside of an EVAP system. They can be designed differently and things like this. So if you do go to work on an EVAP system, it's always a good idea to get a diagram for that specific vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But the basics of how all these systems work is that the gas vapors, they're going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go through a hose over to what's called a charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is kind of like storage for the gas vapors. Built into the charcoal canister or located right next to it is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. It's a normally open valve. And the computer can send it a signal to close when it goes to test the system and different things like this. There's going to be a hose that leaves the charcoal canister. It's going to go up into the engine bay and located up around the engine is going to be what's called a purge valve. And when the engine's running, at some point, the computer is going to send a signal to the purge valve to open and all the gas vapors are going to go into the engine to be burnt away. Also located inside of the system somewhere is going to be what's called a fuel tank pressure sensor, sometimes just an EVAP pressure sensor that's monitoring everything that's going on in the system and reporting that information back to the computer. So like I said, that's a real basic overview of what's going on inside these systems. Another thing to note is that when a problem is fixed inside the EVAP system, the vehicle is usually going to need what's called a drive cycle to fully clear the code. If you clear the code with the scan tool, the light on the dashboard is going to go off, but the vehicle won't pass an emissions test until a drive cycle is done. How the drive cycle is done is going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model. So it's a good idea to look up that information for that specific vehicle. Most mechanic shops, after they fix a problem, they'll just tell you to go drive the vehicle around because as the vehicle is being driven around, usually you'll go through all these steps at some point and that'll complete the drive cycle so be sure to keep that in mind and so what would be some possible causes of a p0448 code well the most common things that's going to cause this is a bad vent valve or the wiring going to the vent valve the vent valve can be built into the charcoal canister or like this right here they can be located inside of what's called a leak detection pump these leak detection pumps usually contain the vent valve and the pressure sensor but the vent valve can also be separate on some vehicles, but it will be located right up around that charcoal canister somewhere. If it is separate, these are the easiest ones to work on. So the exact location of the vent valve is really going to vary. And usually it is built into the charcoal canister, but like I said, it can't be separate. And the basics of what's going on with these vent valves is that they're a normally open valve, which means they stay open until they get power to them, usually 12 volts. The reason there is a vent valve is that when you go to get gas and you go to fill up the tank, all those gas vapors are going to get pushed in to the charcoal canister. And if they don't have no place to go, that'll keep clicking off the gas nozzle when you're trying to fill up. And so that those gas vapors got some place to go, this vent valve is a normally open valve. And so those gas vapors are going to go through the charcoal canister, get filtered through the charcoal pellets, and get pushed out through that vent valve. A very common symptom of a bad vent valve that's stuck shut is that the gas nozzle keeps clicking off when you go to get gas. And so that vent valve is just a regular valve that's going to stay open until power goes to it, which is usually 12 volts. So you can send it power using a good OBD2 scan tool that can turn it on and off and to try to listen for it clicking. And when power goes to them, usually they'll click, and that usually means they're working. Usually the hot side or the positive side is going to be always on going to it, while the ground side is controlled by the computer. So you can go and check and be sure that you're getting 12 volts down there but the ground side can be a little more difficult to check this way since it's only going to get a good signal when the computer enables it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, some of those have an option inside there where you can send a signal to enable the vent valve, and then you can go and check and be sure that you got a good ground and that you got 12 volts going to it. I made a full video on all this, how you go about testing the circuit, how you go about testing the vent valve. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to go check that out. But the most common things that's going to cause this is a bad vent valve or the wiring going to it. Also keep in mind that there's some kind of problem with the charcoal canister, depending on the vehicle, that can also cause problems. Especially when the vent valve is built into the charcoal canister, there might be some kind of internal wiring issue going on or something along those lines and that's causing problems. So the next thing that could cause that is a bad charcoal canister. The next thing that can cause problems inside of EVAP system, but are very unlikely to be related to this P0448 code, and usually you'll get another code for those things, is going to be like a bad gas cap, there's an EVAP leak, a bad purge valve, or possibly like a bad pressure sensor or something like that.
And usually if that happens, you're going to be getting other codes. So for example, like a P0453, evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch high. If you're also getting that code, then it could be a good idea to go check out that pressure sensor and be sure that's good. But like I said, other things that could affect the EVAP system, they're very unlikely to be related to this P0448 code. And if they are having a problem, then you'll be getting other codes. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0448 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.